It's past versus present today as Kings Lynn take on Newport County in today's episode of Walks to the Prem. And oh, those pre-season expectations? Might want to be re-evaluating them. Let's go and have a look. Hello guys, it's me, Bad Jokes, back at you once again with another video. And today guys, we've got episode number 46 of my Kingsland Walks to Prem save here on Football Manager 2020. And yep guys, very interesting game today. My ex-local team, Kingsland Town, going up against my now local team, Newport County. So it's going to be a very interesting game personally for me. But it's going to be an interesting game for another reason that you will understand in just a second. Because let's go and have a look at the schedule since we've last been together, which was for both of the 2-1 defeats against Blackburn in the Carabao Cup and then Mansfield in the league. But since then, we haven't lost a game in the league. We started off with a 0-0 draw against Southend and then since then, we have won everything in the league. Beat Forest Green 1-0, 2-0 against Flyde and then in the league, we beat Bradford 1-0. Rochdale beat them 2-0. Sorry, click on it there. And then Grimsby, 4-2 win there. And then a 2-0 win against Leighton Orient. The only disappointing result there is against the Everton under-23s. A 3-2 defeat in the Leasing.com Cup. Normally... I wouldn't even bother mentioning those games because I'm not that interested interested in them. But if we have a look at the game, there is a cracking goal from David Marsden that I want all you guys to see. It was absolutely beautiful. Deserved to be in a World Cup final, I think. Not a stupid, nobody cares about, made up, crappy, under-23 competition. And here it is. It was Murray with the free kick. It got headed away. But then Marsden, sweet as a nut, volleying that ball out of mid-air. What a goal that was. If that doesn't win goal of the season, then I don't know what will. And so that is where we have been since we've last been together. And now you'll notice I've got a bit of a bar up top because I've not wanted to spoil where we are in the league. Until now, because we're top. We are top of the league. I don't believe what is going on at the moment. But we have played 11 games. We've got a goal difference of 10. And today's game is against Newport County. Who, if I get myself out of the way for a minute, you can see our bottom of the league. It's absolutely mad scenes. So hopefully, should be a nice, comfortable win today. That is what I'm hoping for. And so, you know what? Let's go and get into the game and get into the team. We've got Herbin in goal, Chandler at left back, Andrew Unpronounceable and Griffiths make up our centre-back pairing for today. Rob Crampton, the blonde bombshell, is in at right back. And then in the midfield, it's Taylor on the left. McCarthy and Simmons in the middle. Dylan Crow has moved up to right side of midfield. And he has been absolutely bossing it over the last five games. Getting himself an average rating of 7.44. So that position for the minute is definitely his. And then up top, we've got David Marsden just behind the striker, Tristan Abeldeen Goodridge. As you would expect, with the form for both teams, we are big, big favourites. We are 1-3 to three to win this game. Newport are 7-1. to one. So we should hopefully get quite a few goals today. Let's go and get into the dressing room. Here we go, just before the game starts, just going to have a look at the Newport team. There's only, what, 
two players' names I recognise there. Because those of you that have been with the channel from the beginning, you will know that Newport was the second team, I think it was, that I did a YouTube series with way back, what, three years ago now? And so, yeah, I think Josh Sheehan and Matt Dolan were the only ones I recognised from back in those days. So now let's go and get into the dressing room and let's go ask the assistant and we're going to go passionate. Uh, come on, lads, show me what you can do. A few people are motivated. And now you know what I like to do right now. It works. So we're just going to tell everybody we've got to have faith for faith for faith. And there you go. Everyone but one is motivated. And so prediction time. 3-0. I'm going to go big. Go confident. 3-0 Kings Lynn. Come on you Linnets. 35 minutes into the game, we've finally got a highlight as Newport County's corner is cleared by us and Aberdeen Goodridge on the counter. Can he get this ball into the box? He needs someone to help him. He's got some help coming now, but he always tried to do it himself and he almost has there, but it's gone out for a goal kick. And now finally, highlights coming quick and fast. Taylor with the ball on the left-hand side. Coming forward with it. Goes past the man there who tries to dive in on him. He's gone past another one. He's gone for the long shot and... Poor. He had options there. He had options. And that is the half-time whistle. You can see by the stats, we have probably been the better team. 12 shots, 2 there, 5. 4 on target, 2 there, 3. But they have had a little bit more of the ball. So let's go and get back into the dressing room. And I'm going to go assertive. I'm not happy because we really should be winning this game. And now who's stressed? Zach Chandler. Let's give him a bit of a confidence boost. Um, there's a lot more to come from you. Yep, that's worked on him. And Kevin Griffiths as well. Let's go. Uh, yep, you've got the ability to make the difference. Nope, no reaction there. Let's see if we can get anything out of Marsden. And yep, there we go. So everyone but two are looking fired up or motivated. Maybe 3-0 was a bit ambitious. Come on, 1-0 win. I would take that. Come on. Almost an hour gone in the game and it's the first highlight of the second half. Taylor plays the ball out wide to Chandler in space. He tries to cross it in. But Newport, oh, Newport, I thought they'd got it away. It's a calamity of errors. But finally, we get a shot from Crow and it gets saved and goes out for a corner ball. And it's going to be Crow to play the out swinging ball. And it goes in and it gets headed away. And now unpronounceable to Crow. He crosses it in again. Goodridge with the header. And I think he was offside. So you know what? Let's go and make some changes. I think we've got to go two up top. Marsden hasn't really been in this game. So let's go and get Akeem Rose on for Marsden. And DiMaggio Wright-Phillips on for Crow, Who has had another poor game today. And so, yep, let's go and get into it. Any other changes I want to make, actually? You know what? Slightly high. You know what? We're going to go extra higher tempo. And we're going to go for whipped crosses into the box. And leave it at that and see what that does for the next 10, 15 minutes. Just after the subs have been made, we've got the ball. Taylor's into the box. His cross is awful and goes to Matty Dolan. And now it's Abrahams with the ball. Fanimo is in oceans of space. He goes for the shot and Herbin with the save. Thankfully, we survive there. Come on, lads. Come on. Fanimo now with the corner. We need to get this one away. Williams with the header and Herbin just picks it up out of midair. Okay, 20 minutes left to go in the game. We've just pushed our defensive line a little bit higher. And we're going to be distributing the ball to the target man from the keeper. And then when possession's been won, we're going to try and counter at them. And also as well, we're still playing the higher tempo I've just shown you just now. Come on, 20 minutes left. I was sure this was going to be a nice, comfortable win. 
Just over 10 minutes left. It's Newport with the corner, but we get it away. And now it's DiMaggio on the counter. Can he do something heroic here? He's going down the right hand side. He's fouled there. Come on, referee. Oh, no. And now Newport on the counter against us. They've gone for the shot. And wow, that's almost gone out of the ground. That was so wide. Eight minutes left now. Rob Crampton with the ball. He does something decent eventually. He goes to Simmons. To Wright Phillips. To Crampton. McCarthy. McCarthy out wide. And Taylor with the ball. Out wide. There goes Chandler. He gets his cross in. Goodridge is making the run. And he's off the post. And they've scrambled it away. Oh, come on. How many chances do we need? Five minutes left now. Dolan with the corner. And we've given away another late penalty. Oh, I'm sure we did this in the last episode as well. So that makes it three episodes in a row we've given away a late penalty. Dolan, my ex-player on FM. He misses it. He hits the post. But he's got it on the rebound. Oh, all kinds of emotions going on there. Oh, from fear to relief to absolute bewilderment. He got lucky there that technically the keeper touched it. So he was able to touch it again. And that is going to be an absolutely awful result. Oh, maybe not. Maybe not. We've got one last chance to drag ourselves into a point. And oh, we might do. We have done. We have done. Callum McCarthy. I'm not sure how much he knew about it. But he has got the ball in the back of the net. Oh, Rose with the free kick. It went in. Their keeper tried to get it away. It hits McCarthy on the head and goes over the line. And now oh, this game is just refusing to end. Can we maybe still even win it? Chandler with it, goes to, oh no, we've lost it, no we haven't, oh, oh my days, this is League 2 football at its absolute worst, calamity of errors from both teams here, and oh, oh my days, please, please let us get a chance to win it, oh referee, come on, take it quick, take this quick boys, come on, come on. It's from a pretty much the same position the last free kick was. Rose with it. He plays it into the box. And oh, what's happened there? Not a whole lot. And that's your lot. That is it for that game. Very exciting end to the game. As we've drawn it in the 93rd minute. Really should have won it, I think. 24 shots, 11 on target. Only 47% of the ball though. They had 16 shots with 6 on target. And of course 53% of the ball. And so let's go team talk. I'm going to go aggressive. I'm going to go that wasn't good enough I'm afraid. And most of them are fired up. Who's demotivated? Andrew Unpronounceable. Let's see if I can cheer you up. Uh, I, I'm, I, don't, I don't want to say I'm pleased. I appreciate your efforts. You were just unlucky. And yep, he's happy now. And let's go. You know what? I think I might want to leave everything else. No, you know what? I'm going to go, you were unlucky. So they're getting some very mixed messages there. First up, I'm saying I'm not happy. And then I'm saying they were unlucky. They're going to wonder what on earth I'm on about. But let's go continue it. Let's see where we're going to come back for the next episode. After 12 games, we are still top of the league. Absolute madness going on. So let's have a look, see where we're going to come back for in the next episode. I want to try and get quite a few games done before the next episode. So may, maybe Notts County, uh, second yellow cards, Notts, Notts County. I think that's what we come back for because that will be one... Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, that, that'll be another 10 games time. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to come back for the Notts County game. If you've enjoyed that video, you know what to do. 
pop a thumbs up down below, subscribe to the channel for more Football Manager 20 content, Pro Evo 20 content as well. I am working on how to get that recorded so it looks alright for you guys. Uh, yep, follow me on Twitter at Bad Jokes Gaming and check out the Passion for FM Discord, Twitter, website, Facebook, and all the other Passion for FM YouTubers. Their details are in the information down below. And yep, guys, I'll be back with you at some point over the weekend. I might be streaming on Sunday. Keep an eye on the Twitter for that. But if not, I'll be back Monday with the next episode in this series. Sayonara.